everybody welcome back to my channel i'm usa today best selling author hildy mcqueen and i love a paper planning as much as i like writing and as much as i like reading paper planning is my hobby it gives me an opportunity to kind of i don't know it's kind of therapeutic for me i really enjoy it and i just feel relaxed while i'm doing it so today i'm going to try to do a, a chat and plan we'll see how it goes my little dogs are laying down over here and they seem to be quiet right now but we all know how that goes with little dogs so today's theme for my what do you call it not today but this week's theme for my uh, planning group is spooky and I didn't really have any spooky stickers so I decided to print this on vellum from I think I downloaded the graphic from Google. I just googled spooky haunted house and this came out and I thought it was perfect. And I'm just going to cut it kind of irregularly. I'm using my Jim Holt scissors. I really like them. They're like it just very 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 slightly serrated and it just feels kind of fun when you're cutting with them. So what I'm thinking about doing I also printed out these little bats. So first I'm gonna start. What I'm thinking about doing is cutting it in half and doing half here and half there. So we'll see how that works. I'm going to use this slicer. I don't know who this is by. I just got it on Amazon. So I'm going to measure, if I can figure out how to work this, to see how is it gonna give me cent it gives me centimeters so it is 18 centimeters so I guess nine would be half which is here right about there should be about half and half so let's cut it Ooh. okay I'm supposed to measure twice and cut once but I just cut I just was like let's just go for it put that away so this is vellum, so it's supposed to be a little bit see-through. We'll see if that's true. It is a little bit see-through. I think I'm gonna put it all the way at the bottom and line it up correctly. So this is vellum sticker paper. Okay, I'm not sure <laughs> how I feel about that, but we'll see. In my head, it didn't quite cut so abruptly. Let's see, I'm going to do this half the same way, right at the bottom, uh oh, the thing with big stickers is that sometimes they get a little unwieldy, unwieldy, okay, did that part, now, let's add the little bats. Well, I'm going to cut the little bats. I'm not sure I'm going to put them down yet because I'm going to use some other elements in the spread. So put this little, cut out these little bats. I should have probably cut, cut it more bats. Now that I think about it, I could have done four sets instead of two, but maybe it would have been too much. Too much? What? No. Oh, God. The puppy has been barking so much lately he likes the way his uh, bark sounds in the living room because it's got a high ceiling and he can bark and it echoes a little bit uh, so anyway i am pablo stop i am going to be using this live, live love why can't i ever say this live love posh sticker book and it is the posh favorites only because and I've used a lot of this but there is this lace that's like a black lace that's left here that I didn't use and I want to use that on the spread if I can lift it that would be great these clear stickers it's hard to tell where the um, edge is sometimes all right so ah, it's stuck all right do I want to put where uh oh where'd my other bats go no. Did I lose them? Oh, here they are. I found them. I found them. Okay. Do I want to put this here like this? I think so. That way it won't be so abrupt. So I'm going to cut 
Well, let me put it down first. I'm gonna cut a little bit of this edge off. Not that it really will probably show, but. And I'm gonna put it here, I think. I don't know how spooky this is actually going to be. Now, I'm going to figure out how to keep this from sticking down by... Okay, let's see. Let's cut it here, like so. Oh, didn't cut deep enough. I felt like I was cutting through everything. But then when I try to lift it, it's like, nope. Okay. <laughs> Come on, seriously. Man, it's like giving me a hard time here. This is supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> um, okay, not sure how I feel about that. But we're going to carry on. I'm going to do the other side the same way. Let me get the other one. I probably can just use what I have left over. I don't think I need to use that other one. Yeah. I'm just going to like go like this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Not sure how I feel about that. Let me see. I think I'm going to lift now because this one goes over. I don't know if I should have. Okay. This edge here looks kind of wonky on there. So what I'm gonna do is cut off that edge. Cause you can really see the sticker on here. So, okay, all right, carry on. All right, so then I have another whole one of these and this really pretty. A sticker that I want to use but I'm wondering how to incorporate it on both sides without it looking chopped up and again I can't see the edge where's the edge oh, there it is okay I don't know where my tweezers are that always makes it easier to pick them up but I think my tweezers are somewhere I don't know where they are okay so this is so pretty do I want to use it here I think yes but then I won't. Mm, I wish I had two of these. I'm thinking I'm going to cut it up and then put part here. Uh, let me think. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do so that I can have it on both sides. So I'm going to carefully cut it so it is somewhat seamless. And if, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a little like netting underneath there that kind of looks like spider web. So I love that about it. So let's put this one here like this. This is supposed to be spooky. And then this one, I'm going to make it blunt. Oopsie. And put it here, like a continuation almost. I don't know if that's what it's gonna look like, but in my mind, that's what I'm planning for it to look like. Am I in frame? No, I'm not. Okay, there. Oh, no, that's not far over enough. There. There we go. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to use, I think this lace, I'm thinking about doing it up the side or maybe facing that way. Let's see how that's going to look. And then I'm going to add boxes, a, say, a quote, or two and the bats and I think that's gonna be pretty spooky okay so this I want to go from here to mm, the end of this graph print so let's cut it here this must not be very sharp because it barely, there we go, okay, it barely cuts. I do have this little bit left, but I'll see if I'll use it or not. Suppose I could like keep going here, but let's put it aside for now. Okay, now what I'd use to get some boxes. Now boxes, 
I was kind of thinking of copper. Let me see, where do I have boxes? I have autumn boxes somewhere. Uh, oh, did I put that away? I pulled the, I thought I pulled the sticker book. What is this? No, that's not it. What is this? No, that's not it. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I just don't know what I did with the autumn boxes. I had pulled it and now I can't find it. Oh, let's see. Maybe I put it aside. What is this? Muted blooms. Here they are. Okay, found the autumn boxes. I did. I pulled them and then I put them aside because I couldn't find anything that I wanted to use. Now this color, now if anything, I need like a muted blue and then maybe a, well, these flowers are pretty, but I don't think I'm going to use florals this week. Okay, no, I won't use any florals. I am going to step away from the florals. I had also pulled this, I did pull this, that thinking I could add it, but that won't leave me any room to write. So let's see. I know since when did that stop me? Here's some purple. Uh, but there were some copper ones, so that's these, this copper one I was thinking would probably go, but there's only one of that one, two, and here's some, oh, there's some here, are these empty? No, those are empty. I have some little ones, and here's one. Okay, so maybe I'll have enough copper ones to kind of spread, because I don't see another color here that would work. There's some black here. And, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go with black. What is spookier than black? So let's pull these black ones and put them. Here's one. Is that, is that straight or crooked? I can't tell. But I think I'm going to leave it. I, you, know, uh, you know what? I think it's pretty straight, actually. And then I'm going to put one here. Kind of like up a little bit. Like, oh, there we go. Like this here. And then I'm going to pull this black one here. This black one. Then I thought I saw a, yeah, there's a big one too. So I'm probably going to use that one. Okay, so I'm trying to decide. I, I don't think I'm going to use the copper. I think I'm just going to stick with black because I'm trying to be different this week. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about those two being so even, Stephen. Okay, so then... I really want to use this big guy here. And you know what I'm going to do because I'm not that happy with the way this looks. I'm thinking about just running it like this and then over towards it and covering it. That part. So I'm just not sure I like the way this looks over here on this side, but oh shoot, I just tore the paper. So ooh, I'm going to have to use enough to cover the part I just pulled up. Okay. Mm, did I just ruin that whole look? <laughs> Maybe. Because I could see the shadows under there and that makes that's gonna might drive me crazy, but it might not. Okay, then I want to put another box somewhere like here. But I'm not sure I have any more. No, oh, here's one. Put it like here. Okay. And then something over here, like that. It's almost like a little bit of a lighter black compared to the other black. I don't know, maybe it's my imagination. And this one, I don't like it. I don't like that it's so even on top. I know it's crazy, it makes no sense maybe, but I just don't like it being like same level to me. It just looks kind of too formal formulaic. I don't know. It's not a good way to describe it. 
that's crooked, of course. This is gonna be the one box that gets picked up three times and will still end up crooked probably. I'm trying to match it over here on this side to make sure it's straight. There we go, all right. You know what, so far I think it's turning out cute. Even though I'm not so sure about these jagged edges, I'm still not, not too mad with it. And I don't think, I don't know, should I add the copper? I think that'd be kind of fun. So let me pull two small copper boxes. Here's one, and here's another one. I don't know if I have another little one like this one. Here we go. Just to add a little something. You know, kind of goes with the windows here. Because here I don't have but this space to write, and then it kind of just looks wonky right here. Okay, so the one for this page is gonna go here. This, I hate the jagged edge of this. But I don't, why does this still look crooked to me? Maybe because this one's crooked. It just still does. This, yeah, this box is not making me happy and I don't know if it's this one that's crooked and that's why. I don't know, maybe it's this one that's crooked. I don't know that I can lift it uh, without. Okay. Let's make sure that this guy is straight. Okay, there we go. That's straight now. And then this guy, this little copper one, will go here, kind of overlapping a little bit like that and then Mr. Crooked can go here like that. Yes? No? Maybe? Mm, I don't know. This kind of... I don't think I'm ever doing this again. <laughs> it's driving me a little crazy. Okay. Okay. Where am I going to put the bats? Maybe that'll help me. The bats, I think, are gonna go here, like that, and then here, like, I don't want them even, I don't want them, like, exactly the same space. So maybe this bats can go there, because there's a lot of room to right here. So maybe the bats will go like that, and then over here I can go ahead and put them there's a lot of room to write here, so maybe the bats should be here, but it's kind of weird to have them low because they're supposed to be flying. So I think they are going to go here. So, okay, let's peel this and put the bats down and kind of overlapping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love the bats. I love them. And then these bats, do I want them here maybe or here? I think they're almost even, but that's okay. Gosh, I wish I would have printed more bats. Okay, you are going down here. All right, so I think so far so good. I just need a quote now. And I have the book that I love and I keep saying I'm gonna go back into um, Amber Plants Her Day to find this book. It's called Holiday Quotes and it's got some cute ones for um, spooky. So I like this one, it's a spooky season. I'm gonna, and then I like Creep It Real. So those were my two favorite ones. So I am going to try to lift this. And I, like I said, don't have my tweezers over here. So wish me luck with these. These are always so hard to peel up. Um, oh, oh, nice spoke and it didn't, it wasn't hard. Spooky season and Creep It Real are the two that I wanna use. So while I'm doing this, I, I haven't really chatted with you guys about the status of affairs. <laughs> so let me tell you what's been going on here in my life. So first of all, storm repairs have not begun yet because all the Workers in the area are slammed, so if you wanted to wait, and I mean, if you want to wait, you don't want to wait, you have to wait. So while you're waiting for them to come and help and find you, um, you know, 
give you even an estimate on your repairs is taking forever because it's just so, you know, so much need right now. There are people coming in from other states to help with the repairs that people are needing, but even with them here, it's still making it hard for us to find people to come do the work. There's plenty of guys that are driving around helping with, um, with um, cutting up of trees and debris. The county is, you know, clearing debris. We still haven't had our debris cleaned up. Um, so it's kind of like waiting time right now. But you know, one of the things about this whole situation, this whole experience has been learning patience. And so I will say that one of the things that is coming out of it is that you have to be patient. You have to kind of expect to wait for everything because there's so much destruction in our town. There's so much that needs to be done and not enough people to do it. So, you know, people are getting very frustrated with certain things and people, insurance companies are declining their requests. There's people that are having such a hard time even getting their utilities back on. Internet is still off in a lot of places. So, yeah, I think the main thing about it is to be patient and just expect to wait for everything. And so it'll, it'll be a while. I think it'll be a while before we get fully up to speed. So we still have a hole in our ceiling in the dining room and we still have a tree laying across our front yard. But you know what? Nothing compared to what other people are going through. So, yeah, we're being patient. We're being grateful. I am not going to complain based on what I know other people are going through. So, so much is being done. So that part is good. As far as my writing, I did have a release come out. It was called The Raven. And uh, I will put the link down below if you guys are so inclined to um, try out my new book. I would really appreciate it. It would really help me out. These are times when I need money. <laughs> so other than that, life is really good. It really is. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will chat with you guys soon. Bye.